Hey friends, this is Hardy Quest with Chapel Hill Quest Martial Arts and the Ninja Every Day. And I want to share with you a meditation tip that's a great meditation that you can use anytime that you can't physically train but you want to work on something. Whether it be a martial arts technique or anything else. But it's the power of visualization, the power of our mind. If we can really see ourselves being successful at doing something, we're much more likely to actually be successful doing it. We have to believe that we can achieve what we're setting out to do. That's why the first three lines of our student creed are, I believe in myself, I am confident I can accomplish my goals. Now, martial arts training is a unique challenge in our current situation because we don't have access to training partners. But what we can do is see that training partner in our mind and practice mentally what it is that we want to develop. And we'll have pretty profound effects that do translate into your physical movement. Now we have a meditation in our practice that we call the dojo of the mind. And in a short explanation, what you do is you find a comfortable place to sit where you're not going to be distracted. You visualize yourself making way to your ultimate dojo. Maybe the path that you would take to get there, what the exterior looks like. And then once you're in, in real great detail, imagine what your ultimate training space would look like. The more that you do this practice, the more quickly you can get there in your mind. Once you're in your training space in your mind, imagine you're in front of your ultimate training partner. Maybe it's an actual training partner that you train with regularly. Maybe it's a character from an anime or a video game that you like to play. or uh, Maybe it's one of your teachers. You know, maybe it's somebody uh, famous that you'd love to have a training session with. And what you do is you visualize yourself being successful employing whatever technique that you're working on. You visualize yourself from your own first person perspective being successful and equally important you visualize from a third person perspective you see yourself from these different angles in great detail really really clearly being able to perform the techniques that you're trying to practice in your mind if you get to where you can very clearly see all of the details of the technique that you're working on I bet physically there's a good chance that you'll be able to do it very well. If there's a part mentally that you can't clearly see in your mind, that's probably the part physically that's giving you a hiccup. So what I'd encourage you to do is use every opportunity that you have to sit and to practice visually or mentally seeing yourself do the techniques as correctly, as perfectly as possible. You can use this visualization technique to practice a technique. You can use it to practice what you think you would do in a scenario. You can visualize scenarios and they don't have to be combat scenarios. How are you going to do in the upcoming job interview or how are you going to do upcoming tough conversation you've got to have with somebody that you care about. And this dojo of the mind training technique can help you practice that anywhere, anytime. You don't have to have a match. You don't have to have a training partner. You just have to have a good imagination. The opportunity to practice focusing on that is going to strengthen all of your other med meditation exercises as well because we're working on developing the command of our mind. We want to be in charge of what we see and what we yeah. communicate and, and what we do. And the first step is being able to hold what we need to hold in our mind in place. So I'd invite you to practice this Dojo of the Mind technique anytime that you have a chance to do it. I'm going to do a recorded version that you can just go onto YouTube and hit play and listen. Uh, but even without that, you know the steps. Find a comfortable, safe place to sit. Sit in a position that you're not going to fall asleep. Close your eyes, 
visualize yourself making your way to your ultimate dojo. The longer you take going to that dojo and the more detail that you can see and believe and, and feel while you sit, the more powerful the meditation will be. When you're in your ultimate dojo, visualize yourself in your ultimate training attire. Right? Visualize yourself in front of your favorite or ultimate training partner and see yourself being successful no matter what. If you're going through scenarios, you can see the scenario. You can practice seeing it going ways that you didn't want it to go. But what's important at the end is that you visualize yourself pulling it back around. You're practicing being successful. You're practicing winning. And that's one of the translations of the name ninjutsu. It's the art of winning. So until we can actually be together and train together on the mat, again, let's continue training online and continue training in our mind. Until I see you next time, friends, ninja every day.